Schiffer empowering for the line. Has she done enough to beat the young Croatian? Yes, she has, but it's a very narrow margin. The victory in the end does go to Michaela Schiffer. Well, great atmosphere here, and despite the departure due to injury of Slovakian favourite Petra Flova, the crowd turned out in their thousands to welcome the world's best female skiers and cheer each and every one of them onto the finish line. First run showing great form as we've come to expect. Schifrin with a big, big margin over the rest of the field. In the end, that had been shaved down to 0.52 of a second. The young Croatian star Lutic chasing down on the Americans' heels. Come the second run, as the sun kissed the top section of the piste, we saw Anna Sven Larsen putting down another strong performance, looking to mimic Sarah Hector, her compatriot's win from yesterday's giant slalom. She put herself in a very commanding position and then had to watch as the rest of the world took their turn. Next up was Maillard of Switzerland. Unfortunately for the Swiss girl, unable to capture the form that she displayed in the first run. And uh, in the end, posting a third spot. She was delighted though, a career best for her. Srinke of Croatia, the young rising star, showing maturity well beyond her years, kept a cool head in a second run that surely many others would have cracked under the pressure. Beautiful turns towards the lower section and across the finish line in a final time totaling 148.35, putting Croatia at the top of the leaderboard. Schifrin, the last to take on the challenge of the Jasna Piste, and having won here twice before, she knew exactly what she had to do. She knew she was up against it, the young talent trying to track down the older masters, but Schifrin seemed to find something extra just in the closing third of the course, and uh, when she crossed the line, confirmation that uh, she had won her third slalom competition here in Jasna and the 58th slalom of her career. Confirmation of the times there, all very tight. It was not easy on the second. Now I feel the energy is gone, but I could hear you cheering for Zrinka. Um, which was actually really quite cool from the start to, to hear this noise. I knew she put down an amazing run uh, and I had to push. Well, great words from Schiffer in there. And as you can see, she consolidates her position at the top of the leaderboard in the slalom standings. And uh, what better way to celebrate World Snow Day. She also strengthens her lead at the overall competition standings as well. So the Star Spangled Banner plays once again courtesy of Michaela Schifrin's win here in Jasna on World Snow Day and what better way to celebrate.